Welcome our followers. I would like to welcome here with us today a French producer who goes by the name Haya Meditation. So Haya Meditation, welcome. Hello. Um, first of all, uh, thank you for your the, the invitation for this interview. Um, I'm really happy to talk with you and uh, basically introduce a little bit myself and more than that coming next week to find two weeks for the for the gig with a massive and boris samson we're also glad to have you here so if you would be so kind in uh for the beginning introduce yourself shortly uh, to our followers who is higher meditation yeah sure sure basically my name is adis known as young adis um i i'm french originally i started to create dub music when i was 16 and um i followed few sound system uh that name was wbt ice conquerors in france i was making dub plates for them um after a few years i decided to move in uk after my after i was graduated like of my studies um I decided to move in UK to try you know, a new experience, a new challenge, and to have to come and try to meet um, artists and producer. I decided to move in Leicester because I met few people from this from this town, and um, with the time I met uh, Tim Vibronix, who was with a producer from this town, and um, he showed me many things. He me a lot of things about uh, the mixing, analog mixing on desk, and uh, about production and uh, about releasing music too. I met a few people uh, from sound system like uh, Iration, Step Art, and other sound system who helped me out by supporting my music, playing my music in sound system. And uh, with my family, with my crew in Leicester, I decided to uh, create. I already had my sound system in France. I created it in 2013, but I decided to move my sound system in UK uh, in last year. And uh, I started to play last December with my sound system. Uh, at the same time, I had my first release who arrived a few months ago. And uh, so the one is now out with Joshua Hell. The sound system, I just, uh, we just upgraded the sound system on Fourth Coop and we had our first station in Leicester um, with uh, the, an organization called uh, Dubcup. And uh, we now, how can I say, I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to do a thing, you know, just trying mm -hmm. to spread the vibe better I can through, through my music, through my sound system. And uh, I'm really glad to know that um, people feel interested about that and by the, 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 the message and by the, the, the vibe I can try to spread. Yeah. You said uh, you started when you were 16 years old. Uh, did you yeah, always produce uh, dub music or were you interested? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I started, I was, I was a musician. I, was, I played uh, bass guitar and saxophone, but really quick I decided to... Because I, I I wanted to make music and I didn't find really like musicians around me to make a type of music I wanted to to do like rock music or it was not really kind of music who really were like uh, connected with what I was and I discovered the music uh, in France uh, quite early because in some the sound system community in France exists for now nearly 20 years and uh, I was in Normandy and this region was full of little sound system and I discovered the light dub, I discovered sound system and uh, directly when I was 15 it was like uh, something natural to directly start to make dub music and uh, I started to do some research what type of equipment you needed to make this music and at this period like uh, now it's like 12 years ago it was not really as it is now it was more like machine to create like samplers and uh, some um, uh, rhythmic box like drum box and everything and uh, it was completely different i started by that um and yeah i was doing some light dubs 
and uh, but really quick I understood that the sound system and producing music for sound system like the plate and record and release music on on vinyl would be more <clears throat> something would interest me. Is any of your parents also musicians or any uh, other? No, 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 not at all. My, my parents are not really like uh, um, artistic. They, they, are, they just my mother, uh, basically my mother pushed me to do music. When I was really young, when I was five years old, she decided to push me to do some like flute, some like awaking musical awaking and really quick I I, I, I was always near instrument basically and uh, I was always surrounded by people who were making music without really have like a, a um, family who was making music all my friends were making music and I grew up in this like energy of music is a part of our life like uh, sport would be a part of our life and it was really that uh, so what took you then so long? Like you said you were producing at 16 and your first release was, was it for Skenko Clock label? Yeah, yeah, exactly. In my, 2016? My yeah, exactly. It was in 2016 and it was basically the people behind uh, um, uh, Skenko uh, Clock are WDT. It's basically the first sound system I was following who released my first, uh, my first tune. Like uh, it was around eight years after I met them for the first time, and it's uh, it's quite it's it's quite funny and interesting at the same time to see that the dub community, as I think the musical world is something you need, like people you meet and people you trust are important people because they will follow you and they will help you out when they can. As did Conquer Club for me and prove me that having music on on record was totally possible and I really like thank them a lot for what they did for me and uh, and Vibronix was just uh, the, um, the next step because this producer of God around 50, 60 release on his, on his label he is recognized as a legend and to have the chance to be close like someone like him is like something really um, uplifting for me and helping to carry on and uh, it proved to me that everything is possible when you <clears throat> basically want it and organize everything to have what you want. So yeah, I need to ask you about this. How this uh, connection with uh, Stevie and uh, his crew happened? I mean, um, how did you end up working in them studio? Uh, yeah, it was um, uh, because I touched down in Leicester, it was in 2014. At the end, I think at the end of it was like in April 2014, I, I arrived, I moved in Leicester. And a few, already I knew him because I was buying some music to him, some the plate. I was sending him my music just to just tell him, like, I'm here, I just, I'm just a young producer, I love your music, I just try to, to, to make music. And he was always like, uh, Good to give me some nice feedback because he is really a nice person and he will always like try to help you positively in what you are doing. And a uh, few months, few months after that, he sent me a, a message and say, "Well, come at the studio. We will have a meeting." And I uh, said, "You know, my studio is set up." Um, he had his album, The Return of Vibronix, was just uh, released, and he said, "You know, my album is just released, and uh, I, I've got." Gigs. I he got a lot of gigs and basically said to me, if you want, during the weekend when I'm not there, you can have the studio for you and just like doing your thing, nice. recording, mixing, do anything you want with the studio. And he gave me the keys of his studio and the story started there basically. I had, I, I, I could like have access to this massive and uh, like legendary studio and uh, trying to do my own stuff and. Um, it was uh, in for three years now, a little bit more than three years I'm there and um, I, I do my best to try to progress and obviously things, things, things are better with the time. But I really thank him for all the help he gave to me because it's really on the large, it's really on the large spectrum. He helped me from A to Z from uh, what? 
type of archives you will use from for like what type of samples you will use like until how to contact the distributors for it to distribute your, your record and uh, it's why Steve, Steve is clearly someone who helped me a lot and he's still doing it and I feel really blessed to have like that uh, in my life as uh, I feel blessed to have all the people I've got around me in Leicester because they helped me a lot to carry on. Yeah, I believe. I mean, it's uh, not every day that uh, you can work in such a legendary studio and yeah. share the place with Iration Steppers and all the... Yeah, but moving in England, I think it's like everything in life. Everyone can do what he, he wants, basically. If you, if you love if you love dub music, I really believe and I really like advice to any producer in any country in Europe, if they, in, everywhere in the world, if they've got the opportunity to come and have an experience of one month, six months, one year, ten years in England, it would be because everything comes from there. Everything comes from here, where I am today, is 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 why the connection. Because iration, the connection, I can have the connection because we are in the same country. Iration Stepas is uh, someone who loves sound system more than be a massive sound system. You can see him as massive in station as other big sound system. And this is that is the proximity with people who is really interesting. I didn't come in Leicester because Vibronic was in Leicester, but the chance was Vibronic was in Leicester. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and at the end, and, uh, the connection, because Birmingham is at 40 minutes, London is at two hours, basically uh, a big part of the well-known artists in this movement are from maximum two hours, three hours around me by car, and that is, is something who is really interesting as a producer. So, uh... You also started uh, your own label this year called uh, Higher Meditation. Uh, how is it to be around boss? How it is to be around? Boss. How is it to run your own things? I mean... Ah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's like everything. I, I think it's... Yeah. Mm, how can I say? The musical uh, industry, like dub music, um, is... Uh, is you know, you do, it's on small scale, you know, you release like 500, 1000 copy. You are, it's a little company. And this is what is really interesting that the control on everything is quite easy. But it's, you ha it's a world of contact. It's a world of, uh, um, how can I say, you have to wait a lot. It's a world of patience and contact. Yeah. And uh, as, as, I think that, Releasing music is really important. It's really important to stay visible, to have people who feel connected with something. And this is the best way I've found basically until today. Releasing on, on vinyl is uh, really something first to is really a great thing. I was, I, I was um, making records in, in shop when I was 17, 18, and today to see my own record will arrive like in my studio and it, it, it's a big achievement it's a big achievement is is something i never really expected or really dreamed of and at the end today is there and and i can run my own label um i i follow my own rules and that is really the best is really the best it's just being dependent that is I think every 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 producer in any kind of music who release vinyl would tell you that independence is because we choose we choose everything and we can work with how hard we can even if it's still a business but we can work with a real message and we need people who clearly because people who are good in this business are people who got um, a vision and who got a really deep respect for the crowd and for mm -hmm. all the how can I say the world of the creation from producer to sound system? And uh, I feel really happy to be a part today of this uh, of this community of how can I say the producer really the music. Well, congratulations, of course, on that. It is a big achievement for everybody. Uh, so far, you have uh, two releases on your own label, yeah. Uh, yeah. Land of Zebulon. Interesting name, by the way. 
and Sanctionary with uh, Joshua Hills, as you already mentioned. Uh, exactly. Are any plans for future? Are any? I mean, I yeah, know yeah, yeah, the yeah, last so, one was just yeah. released, but yeah, yeah, we've got always like, as would say Steve, um, any release when the music is released, when the song is released, it's really good to be happy about that. But the real thing is to be already concentrated on the next two ones, you know, because this is that. This is that the real thing. And yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got few releases who are um, uh, on them way. I've got. I can't really um, talk about that at the moment. About uh, like I've got a big Jamaican artist who will be on the next one, nice. and uh, and I will have. But I'm still like I'm still like uh, working on the mastering. I'm still working on the would say like business side of the of the release this is why i can't have too much word about this one but i will have release with uh sister lexi from london who had mm -hmm. some uh, song with jashaka and uh i'm working with uh with local artists from leicester who's called uh nia songbird who already has worked with um, uh, uh, work with Vibronix and uh, and my MC, uh, Mr. Feelgood, who I think I will have two um, digital album will be out around January with them. Nice. I have to ask you, uh, how did you came up with your name, Chaya Meditation? I mean, how, how yeah. come you choose this name? Um, I, I choose this name in around 2013, 12, uh, 2013, and basically I choose Dyer Meditation because the first thing is when when we were talking in France with my friends about like ganja, we were always talking about higher Meditation, like always, and uh, it was our way to be discreet about that. And uh, it's something who stayed quite long in my. It's a, it's a word that was always in my in my everyday life. It was always there. And more than that, it was the connection with the sound system feeling of, um, you know, you arrive at three, four hours in station and uh, you are, you, 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 how can I say, um, you are on the next level. Yeah. You just uh, feel connect, a connection with the music who clearly is just, for me, I always found that. I just found that in some system, and this is the higher meditation for me. Yeah, it's a spiritual level, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a spiritual, it's a spiritual um, elevation. is uh, is something is it helps you to uplift yourself, and this is what we try to spread when we play in station. Uh, hearing that, and I don't know if I look some of the titles of your song, like Chandan Babylon, Solomon Throne. Memories from Zion, and I don't know, I already mentioned the land of Zebulun. Uh, yeah. I can presume you are quite a spiritual person. Yeah, yeah, and I think the name, I always work a lot. I Sometimes I take more time to find the name of my son than really creating them, because I feel that names are really the first thing people will see when they are checking on, on I don't know, it would be like... A, on any website or when they are checking my sample pack and it's something who came back quite a lot is you, you, it seems to, you take you take time to find your name and yeah i take time and i always uh, bring a spiritual side because it's what i try to um spread if you want is uh, the message i would not say as the, i am personally the most spiritual person in the world yeah but yeah my art and what i try to spread is something to bring more spirituality in this world definitely i i was so uh, intrigued by the name of land of zebulun i had to go and actually check it out what it means is, so. land of zebulun is a region in ethiopia yeah it's the last son of jacob Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, uh, everything. I'm. 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 I'm really. I'm really interesting about. Uh, interested, obviously, about all the Ethiopian culture and uh, all the all the sacred places in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I found the land, the land of Zebulun, for me, it was. It was. 
you know, sometimes you find names and you feel that the connection is, is deep with what you are doing. And it was what happened, like, and the song and I, you know, every song is a song. I give a name when I'm happy. I let that on the side. I spread, I, I promote it. And uh, the song was really a song who came back a lot uh, because played by some system when I had my friend who was like, hey, this some system, play your music. Oh, Channel One, oh, Blackboard Jungle, oh. Yeah. And it was like, and it, uh, it's really a great feeling to like do something with, I do, I always work hard for music with my heart. And when you see people as Channel One or Iration Stepas or Blackboard Jungle or King Shiloh, Playing your music is um, is uh, one of the biggest achievements I can have the, the 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 chance to have every two months or every six months because this is when I it's really my 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 something will make me carry on. These people are really help me because they promote my music and they help me to carry on and doing this music <laughs> basically. Everybody would be more than delighted to have such a legends playing playing productions. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know sure. we we also have a, is a massive uh, label, so we're trying to spread the message, not just entertain people. I mean that I think that's the most important part of our culture as dub and reggae in general, mm -hmm. not just to party but spread the message, spread the. Yeah. I don't know. That is important. The, the music, music is energy. You know, I love, I love. In England, we've got nice. many kind of music, many kind of electro music, and some kind of music I feel connected with them because every, every, you know, every beat can give you a spiritual sense, more spirituality inside your heart. You know, but it's not just a question of reggae dub music. Reggae dub music is something that I love for reason, as reason of what is behind that, the human. The human side, uh, the human side, excuse me, about about reggae and the music, the people, the personality, the characters I could meet through the years since I'm like 15, 16, and uh, it's important and really something I feel really warm inside when I see that this movement, who in 2008, nine was. Uh, not really so big and when you I could see many like uh, articles like in some magazine were saying like the roots and culture have got problems to evolve clearly in five six years we can see that now is worldwide with the help of like social media and different things and internet but today and I have the chance to travel in South America for example and I could see there that it's a kind of culture they discovered a few years ago and they feel really connected with it at deep level because reggae dub music sound system is a suffering music and we all suffer and we live uh, I think the period where it's full of problems and frustration and I don't have to tell you what everything we can see on social media and uh, everything like that and I try to keep myself away from that and just carry on for what we are here for is spreading a message of love and harmony and just make smile people because this is at me when I see people smile and I see people happy and finish a nice session or send a nice message because they listen to the music and they feel happy because then they watch it that is really a great feeling and this is my job and I feel so happy to have the right to doing that uh, You're coming in Slovenia for the first time yeah, right. first time, first time, first time Slovenia, first time, first time in East Europa, to be honest, like, is because uh, I went so far in the East I could go, it's in, in Italy, <laughs> so you see, like, I'm, I'm, I was not, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, 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 to coming and uh, to discover the culture, to discover the people, to, uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, because uh, traveling is, is, uh, is, Another part of what I am is I love travel, I love discover, discover new language, new culture, new food, routine, new dishes, everything. It's, uh, it's uh, really something I'm looking forward to. Do you know anything about Slovenia? I mean, have you checked anything? Do you know any? No, uh, to be honest, like, it's why I want to be, because I, I, I'm French originally, uh, we, I, I didn't, I, I don't have a really a knowledge and 
like even about geography, I had to check when Mark sent me a message and I'm like, okay, Slovenia, okay, not far from Croatia, okay. Like, it's, it's really so much, uh, it's uh, just uh, it's so much to discover for me and this is why I want to keep the surprise and uh, and I would be happy to, to discover anything I can, you know. Good, looking for. we will show you around, we will have enough time. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, yeah, for... One of the last things, do you have uh, any messages or uh, something for our followers? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, I, I, I would say to them that clearly, um, first, like, I hope they have all a really great day and they keep loving their hearts and uh, higher meditation is coming and I'm ready to spread more love all around, yeah? yeah nice. So, Chaya Meditation, uh, thank you for your time. We are looking forward. Thank you, thank you very much, Yuri.